Smoky, charred, wok tossed noodles. Pad Si Il has got to be one of the simplest stir fries. But there are a lot of ways that this simple dish can go wrong when you're making it at home. And there are lots of ingredients, things like the rice noodles, like the green vegetables, that you might not be able to get outside of Asia. Now I have a solution for all of these things and a way to give you that authentic Pad Si Il flavour at home. Let's do it my friends, let's make an easy version of Thai Pad Si Il noodles. One of the most important parts of a pad seal recipe is the protein, both the preparation and also the cooking. So we'll get to the cooking later. So the marinade process starts with the chicken itself. Now I'm using chicken thigh here. You guys know I am a thighs and legs girl because the thighs and legs retain their juiciness. They have a lot of flavor. And when you're talking about a very simple stir fry dish, you want everything to be adding to the dish, not taking away like chicken breast takes away. It's dry, it just is not good. Unless you make my chicken stir fry recipe that I made the other day, which is really good. But anyway, we're talking about thighs here. The way you slice is really important for any kind of stir fry. You want it nice and thin and long, just like this. Add in some soy sauce, it's just regular soy sauce, some sesame oil, that's gonna give you a little bit of a smoky flavor, and then some white pepper. The white pepper is really important here. It gives you the characteristic padsy eel flavor. Once that's all mixed, just set it aside where you get everything else ready. Now let's talk about vegetables. So this is the vegetable that you would use if you were in Thailand or you have access to an Asian grocery store. It is Chinese broccoli, also known as gai lan. Now you could go ahead and use broccoli or broccolini here if you can't find this vegetable. It does require a little bit of prepping here because as you can see the stems are really thick so we want to thin them out and then also just at the end here this part can often be kind of tough and dry so cut those bits off and then slice your stems on the diagonal giving you really lovely fine pieces of broccoli stem that are going to cook really quickly in your stir fry. For the leafy part just cut that into chunks and you want to keep the stems and the leafy parts separate because they're going to go into the stir fry separately. Now for the noodles. So what I really wanted to do with this video was give you guys some tools to get a really authentic flavor pad si eel at home, but I do recognize that oftentimes those like really authentic rice noodles, the fresh ones, are very hard to find. So instead, we're gonna use udon noodles, which seem to be far more common in Asian grocery stores or even regular supermarkets. And now we're ready to stir fry. Now the timing is really important here. I want you guys to get a pot of boiling water going on the stove top, as well as your wok, because the noodles need to go straight from the water into the wok. You'll see how it all works. Let's get going in the wok festival. Add in your oil, then add in the marinated chicken and spread it all out immediately so the chicken starts searing and getting lots of really good colour. Let that sit on one side to sear for about a minute and then just start tossing the chicken around. So if you toss and stir at the same time, you're going to get a really great wok action here which creates steam and smoke and that's what's going to give you that really true wok flavour. Once the chicken is almost cooked through, then I'm going to add in my garlic and I do that second so the garlic doesn't burn when I'm high heat cooking the chicken. And then you can add in your stems. The broccoli stems just need to be tossed through for another one or two minutes so that they're tender but still crunchy. And now this is a really great time to pop your noodles into the boiling water. So put those in there and just let them cook away while you finish the stir fry. Move everything over to the side and then this is how we're going to do the eggs. So I've just lightly whisked two eggs in a bowl, add a little bit of extra oil on the empty side of the wok, pour your eggs in and then just use your spatula to move the eggs around just so they're starting to form an omelette. Let that omelette set and then use your spatula to toss the egg through the rest of the stir fry. Now you can toss through your leafy green parts and now the noodles are ready. So use your tongs, get them straight out of the boiling water, toss them into your wok and here we go with dark soy sauce. That colour, oh so amazing. Toss everything around and then when it looks beautifully mahogany dark and so yummy like this, then you're done. Now don't go anywhere yet because I know I've got to plate the noodles but there's still one more thing you need for an authentic Padsi Il flavour and that is the chilli vinegar. 
So I've got some chilies here, white vinegar, that gets mixed together and that is your essential chili condiment that you need for this dish. Place your noodles into your serving bowl, add a little bit more white pepper, which as I said is another essential flavor here. And then drizzle over your chili vinegar. I've got an optional bit of chili here as well. This is Thai chili powder. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there as well, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And here you go, my friends. This is Padsy Eel Noodles. And there you go, guys. This is my version of Padsy Eel done with some different noodles, but you will get the very authentic Thai Padsy Eel flavor you're after. Give it a go because it tastes amazing. Oh, it's so good. You know, it's the simple things sometimes that really bring you the most joy. Mm. Yeah. Yes, because this morning when I told when I told my mom I was making Patsy Eel, she was like, well they're not the right noodles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this noodle. I don't know about this noodle. Maybe you should eat it. I think you should eat it. <laughs> It's not noodle, but very good, very nice, very tasty. Thanks, Mum. Mm -hmm. Do you want to speak to her? You say whatever you want. Tell Dax. Aroi, Mum. Mm. Okay. Pasu iu aroi, Mum.